All right, here's my latest Ibex. And this is a very um, unique instrument. Um, my customer, Val, has some arthritis issues with her left hand. So we wanted to make a guitar that was really easy to play. Um, aside from the instrument's small size, um, I shortened the scale length. So this has a, it has a multi-scale neck, but it's a 24 one to a 23 six on the treble. The width of the fingerboard is narrowed and so is the string spacing. Um, these make the, the neck smaller uh, to grasp. And then also this is a 13 fret rather than a 14 fret join to the body. So that brings the left hand closer. Um, all of this, and then the action set up quite low, and I've got light uh, phosphor bronze strings on here, and uh, this thing is just buttery. So it's a, like a very, um, it's like a little jewel to me. I'll play um, a, a little bit so you can hear it. Let's see. used in this um, instrument. So this has Tunnel 13 um, Redwood on the top. Most of the instruments I've been making lately have Tunnel 14. Um, these tunnels were built at the same time and they were both made with, uh, shored up inside with Redwood that has since been pulled out and replaced with steel. So they are thereby becoming available to make <laughs> guitars out of, you know, either a train tunnel or a guitar. Um, it's just fantastic wood. Um, this one is the Tunnel 13 as opposed to the Tunnel 14. Um, <clears throat> it's a much shorter tunnel. There's less of it, but it just so happens. And it also has the added um, mystique of having witnessed a famous train robbery, which took place in Tunnel 13. I don't know if that changes anything about the tone. But um, Tunnel 13, Brazilian rosewood on the back and sides, and... Uh, one of the cool things about making guitars that are 12 and an eighth inch wide is that I'm able to use sets of Brazilian that are too small for normal size guitars. Um, I mean, this, this set is just gorgeous. It's almost black um, with these sort of molteny stripes of, of uh, orangish red in them. And there's a ton of detail, which unfortunately you won't be able to see on the video, but just absolutely gorgeous wood. And it just barely fit the pattern for the uh, Ibex. So I was happy to squeak it out of there. And there it gets to be um, its highest and best use right there. Uh, the, the Brazilian just gives this guitar tremendous sustain. I think you, you heard that. It just... There's something about Brazilian... In addition to the fact that it's um, very resinous and hard wood, um, it just has a magical kind of sparkle to it. Um, and together with the warmth of the redwood, I think this is a really nice, nice combination. The headstock I was able to make from the veneer on the headstock, I was able to make with a offcut from the back. So everything matches very nicely. I have this thing where I don't want there to be maybe the, more than four species of wood on a guitar. Um, four or five at the most, you know, it, it, otherwise it just gets too busy. So I like the headstock to either be related to the back and sides or the binding or just be plain ebony, which goes with everything. 
Um, so there, there it is. The um, the uh, old thirteen, little cutaway parlor guitar, short scale, very fun to play. Um, Val, thank you very much. It was a pleasure to make. It was a fun journey. <laughs> so until next time, we'll see you all later. Bye bye. Mustn't forget my coffee. <laughs>